It is that time of year again. Oh, this is right up your alley. The 86th annual Scripps National Spelling Bee. It's a television event that makes Americans across the country question the intelligence of our own kids. Well, it wrapped up yesterday. Here's the winning moment. Canadal. K N A I D E L. Canadal. See, now that is cool. That kid is cool. That spelling bee is awesome. And by the way, if you were wondering, the word canado is a small mass of leavened dough. You might know it as a little dumpling that's floating in your matzo ball soup. Delicious. Just want you to know that. Anyway, the winner this year is a 13-year-old. His name is Arvin Mahankali. He's from Queens, New York, and he's one of 11 spellers to reach the final out of 281 contenders overall. Now, even though he's just 13, he is a script spelling the old timer. He is a vet. In the last two years, he came in third, and in 2010, he came in ninth, and he says he loves math, he loves science, he speaks three languages, and he hopes one day to be a physicist. He counts Novak Djokovic. Uh, is that right? Djokovic? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you don't know, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Clearly, we are not contestants in this spelling bee. And Shaquille O'Neal among his favorite athletes. Maybe it's because it's hard to spell. Anyway, this is awesome. I love stories like this. I know. I can barely spell my own name. These kids <laughs> right. are so smart. And if you've ever seen some of the documentaries that have followed them, they really work their way up to this. There's an incredible amount of preparation that goes in. I mean, this is not just like learning words at school and then coming on and hoping to learn to spell. It's like they are legitimately learning a lot of words. All of them. Yeah. I mean, it, it's really amazing. It takes a, a, a level of, uh, of, of discipline to do this. And I like the fact that ESPN covers it because we spend so much time so celebrating athletes for physicality. And I think that's great. Athletic achievements are amazing and extraordinary and necessary. But the fact that ESPN also covers this, the fact that we can have these kids on the same platform as LeBron James, who had a great game last night, makes me really happy to see. Because I think we need as a nation to continue to push you know, intellectual advancement and, and thought.